Introducing AB Find Neutralizing Antibody Test. Four easy steps to complete the test accurately. Prepare. Collect sample. Run test. Interpret results. Prepare. Testing protocol. Kit or test components. Test device. Assay buffer. Capillary tube. Alcohol swab. Lancet. User guide. Wash your hands. Make sure they are dry before starting the test. Remove the test components from the box and place them on a flat surface. Remove the test device from the pouch and keep it ready. Peel the aluminium foil from the pre-filled buffer tube and secure the cap on top of the buffer tube. Push the buffer tube onto the perforated circle of the box, which acts as a stand to make the process easier. Collect sample. Choose your ring or the middle finger and clean the tip of the finger with the alcohol swab and let it dry for 5 to 7 seconds. Twist and pull the tip of the lancet. Position the lancet over your fingertip and push it against the skin until you hear a click. Wait for a good size of blood to form. If it doesn't, squeeze the sides of the finger. Squeezing the top of the capillary tube, bring the capillary tip in contact with the blood drop and release the top of the capillary tube, allowing blood to flow into the tube. Run test. Squeeze the top of the capillary tube to transfer the blood into the sample well of the test device. Add three drops of the buffer onto the sample well of the test device. Wait for 15 to 20 minutes to interpret the test results. Results post 20 minutes should not be considered valid. Results. Positive result. If control line C and test line T both are developed, the test indicates for the presence of COVID-19 neutralizing antibody in the sample. The result is positive. Look very closely. Even a faint line at test line T indicates a positive result. Negative result. If only the control line C is developed, the test indicates that the result is negative. Invalid result. If no control line C is developed, then the assay is invalid regardless of color development at test line T. The test is also invalid if none of the lines are developed. In both such scenarios, repeat the assay with a new test device.